Lucy. Hi, morning everyone. Right, what are we doing today then? Ooh, we'll introduce something new. Yep, we've got some new equipment and uh, we've made some adaptations to our, what we've been doing just to improve our way of fishing, right? Yeah. Our chances of catching fish. Of course. Now, one of the things I've noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, is mm -hmm. when, when, we are, when we are out there and we're casting out the bait, whoosh, you know, I've got a long cast, when we're using the pulley panel rig or the pulley rig or the up and over rig, what sometimes happens is half the time, 50% of the time when we cast out, it comes off. If it was the yeah. up and over, it comes off the top. If it's the pulley rig, it comes off the bottom of the uh, little latch or the break or the splash or the or the splash way. It comes off, the hook comes off and, and it all kinds of untangles in the air. And then sometimes it lands in a heap. Sometimes it lands really nicely. But the thing is, we don't get that distance then because yeah. it's come off and it's like helicoptering around in the, in, in the yeah. wind. So, sort of. yeah, we're trying to sort that. So, especially when we went cod fishing, right? All that heavy, the wind was blowing and it was like galing mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. So, to, to counteract that, we bought the, the better equipment, per terminal tacker. And in fact, this is very good equipment because at the moment it's really cheap, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got this stuff. There's the box it came in, Trident. And it's as cheap as you would get for the other sort of terminal tackle in the shops. In fact, in fact, for what you get, it's probably a lot cheaper, I would say. Right, so we could, I bought, let's see, well, I bought one, two, three, four, five, five things. Five things from uh, Trident Tackle. So they're in Houghtonville Spring, County Durham. Uh, they, you can only buy this stuff, Elsie, mm -hmm. online. You can't buy these in the shop, which yeah. is a uh, you know, which is not as good as it should be. You should be able to get it from the shop as well, but it's only available online. I think they do that deliberately to miss out the uh, middle person. Uh, although we will still be popping in the shops, of course, to buy uh, all the other bits like bait and all the other normal tackles. Just that only when we come specifically for going for for the for the big risky cod we just don't want them to we just don't want to fail we just don't want to fail as we cast out we don't want it opening up and we don't want uh we, we want a maximum chance of catching so we'll go through each one okay arrow pulley it's the red color one that's that one mm -hmm. right uh they look like that we'll go through i'll go for a rig as well that i tied all right so i've tied a up and over useful very useful and I've tied a pulley rig, so yeah. that's the Aero pulley. And I've mixed all the colours up. People like the colour match if you want. They come in different colours. Yeah. So Aero pulley colour red. We got. <laughs> they are only for two packets because they, there's 24 in there. Then for two packets, it's only four pounds sixty, or what? Or what? Or two pounds thirty for twelve, which is very very cheap, really, yeah. very very cheap. Next one. Affordable. Very affordable. Trident carbon, carbon fiber bait needle. And that's really there. I don't know if you missed it when I did that. There it is, Elsie. I don't know if you can see. No, no, that's yeah. the that's the old one I'm gonna come back. This is a trident carbon uh this is so this is made of carbon, razor sharp. Well not razor sharp, but sharp. And it's got a really nice large opening, which is what I like. And I'm gonna compare that later on. Then we've got uh it's the black hangovers which are these all right uh, so two packs two yeah i bought two packs oh the trident uh, bait needle was two pounds each uh, and they come two two or three sizes so the black hangover ones these are two pound fifty each and i bought two for five pounds and they look like that they come with the springs they come with the the little lying uh crimp and they come with that one really I'm looking for is the, the bit that stops. You know, the, for this is for the up and over rig, the bit that stops the thing from flying off, you know, at the top when you're casting it, because it's most likely to fly off. So that's for my up and over rig. 
Uh, Roto bait clip. That's the purple one. That's that one. And we'll go through these. So they look like that, and they were Roto bait clip were two pound fifty each. And I think there were twelve in there. So there's twenty four in here. And I bought two lots. So twenty four for five pounds. And lastly, the green one, Terminate Link. Terminate Link, and I bought, I just deliberately mixed the colours up so we can, uh, you know, my vision's going a bit. I can see exactly what's what and then, you know, not really get it mixed up. That's why I did it. But they look like that, and they are £2 each for a packet of 12, so I've got 24 in there. Uh, no, I've got 12 in there. No, I've got more than 12. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten. No, two pounds for twenty-four. I've got two. Well, I only got one packet of that, so one pack it has twenty-four in it. It's surely more than twelve. Anyone can see it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. No, there's twenty-four in it. Right. So, so it's all about Im yeah. It's all about improvements. What I did. What we're trying to do yeah. too because the new season is going to start we don't want to miss out obviously we're going to use normal rigs for the scratching out the whitings and things like that. normal kind of normal kind of terminal tackle but for the important stuff that's why we're switching to this now i've tied let's see which one i've got this is the um pulley no, this one's not. let's have a look what this one is should we be more prepared? There's a single hook on there. I might just go for single hook this time. We'll see. Oh, this is the up and over because it's got the spring. So if you hold it that end, if you you might have to sit down because you're going to be out of camera shot. Right. For for what we do, obviously, we always have our ends like this. See, I've got that. We just do one of them double double tuck things and pull it over. You kind of wind it on yourself and pull it over. Very easy to do. The knots, everyone knows how to do it, hopefully. So if you hold that. So from there to there, what I normally do is I normally just push that through the top eye. Imagine I push that through the top eye. It comes through like that, I'm up like that. And then I just sort of lift this through, like so. If it through. So what you'll get is you'll get like double strength here, obviously. Mm -hmm. There'll be two 65 pound lines, but because you're here, you can help me just hold the hold the th thing tool. So if you just hold that in, there's nothing sharp there on here. All good. So, what we got, what we got? We got, we've got that. Right there, we've got that little, the line kind of catch thing i don't know exactly know what it's called they called it the black one is called hangover right the hangover the spring the crimp it's uh 55 pound line i think 50 pound line then it goes down a small bead and this purple one is the roto bait clip this is, I, I just think you're trying to remember all the names <laughs> roto bait clip luckily i got it there to read off and another bead just a knot and it ends with a terminal link oh, i do remember that one the green one and these are good because these terminal links this is my snood this is my snood and it's quite long see that uh, from top to bottom i would say three foot yes yeah, three foot it's a three foot drop and look you can just watch elsie look no. right so i can have them all hung up like that hung up all that and just push that in. There's nothing to catch. There's nothing to catch. It's perfectly smooth. So these these uh, quality equipment are very good because there's, they're all so well made and so well thought out, and they're all made by some firm in Durham, I guess. These ones here, though, these um, these sp splash down release things. That, yeah. You know, there's loads of different versions of this particular one. I can feel that. That's quite kind of quite stiff really it takes a bit of effort to move that so it doesn't move very easy probably deliberately i don't know but if, if when i rotate to this angle see that oh i better get it closer there look when i get it to that angle it opens up right that's where the hook can go now i when i tied these what you've got to do is i'll see because I'll, I'll get another one now. 
bit hard to show you. So it goes like that. Uh, you can push one end in, there you go. So that that's the top of it. Push that in, and it comes out like that. So be, because of its design, yeah, because of its design, at that point there, that's when I put this snap link swivel thing, you know, right? Put that in, push that back up. Now you're ready, yeah? Now you're ready to put a bead line. So that's how I, that's how I attach that one. And that's all ready to go. Uh, ready to, for a weight to be attached right there. Just like that. And it's got a swivel, so you can swing. It's got this clippy thing there. Uh, comes in, like I said, a terminal link with a, a bead just before it. Protects the knot. And then this, so the advantage of the up and over LC, I find it, right, you've got three pieces of line hanging there. Yeah. The thing is, it's very short. You can throw it really far. And also this trace here is really long, or this snood is really long. Yeah. So it's definitely going to sit on the bottom of, of float around, but it's got a long way from the lead. So uh, that wood, this is going to be a bit tricky. You hold yours a bit tighter. No, you hold where it, where it is. Don't move your arm. Do it, okay. Don't move your arm. Sorry. That's alright. Oh. Well, we're under a bit of tension. This is a number one hook. Pull yours a bit closer to yourself. No, no, pull it towards you. That's it. I'm trying to put that on there. Right, so. That goes in it, and I've noticed these, um, I'm struggling to remember, Roto Bait Clips, they go from size 4, you can fit a size 4 hook into it, to a size as much as you want, so, let's see how it goes, it goes like that, it goes like that, put it on camera, and then we move it down, there it is, locked in, obviously your rod will be dangling down, there it is, it's locked, now I tried this with a size 6 hook, didn't work, wouldn't fit, it would just fall back out. Mm -hmm. That is locked in, that won't come out. Size 4, still good, this is a size uh, 2 I think, size 2 hook, locked in, and you can go as high as you want. There it is, that is it. There it is. Perfect. So quite short, under tension, and uh, just hold that a second, thank you. Just there, and then when the, obviously when the, the water hits this, I'm just coming out, I'm off camera half the time. I better show this properly. Right. So just like that, when the water hits that, releases, 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 yeah. All right, and uh, I'm just going to show you that. I've got a size two zero hook, it's, and uh, look, it fits. Straight in there. So it's two zero. Missed it. There you go. Look. See that? No problem with size two zero hook or bigger. Look how much bigger the hole can get. So can't go smaller than six. No, can't go smaller than four. But it will do. As large as you want, unless as you want and them shark hooks as like. So that's that rig. All right. So same deal. So look at that long trace. Very useful. It's going to lay on the bottom. Now the other rig. So this I've been wondering about the pulley rig a lot. I've been wondering about. It. You know how it. Why are we wondering about? Let's see how it sits in the water. Now how it sits in the water. Is it kind of is. It's almost not letting it lay flat, which might be a good thing. Which may be a good thing, obviously. Yeah, here's a size 4 hook. It, I don't think it sits flat on the water pulley rigs. Yeah, I know the purpose of them. Here's that... Here's that... Uh, aero pulley. You do a figure of 8. So you go in like that. And come out. There's a hole at the top. Hole at the bottom. Goes in. The line does rub against each other, but you're going to have water there to mm -hmm. yeah, stop it having... Any friction and at the top. Oh, at this time I've put a snap link swivel at the top here, like that. Okay, 
and uh, so I've got to actually a bit of stuff with this end. So the end end, we attach the weight. Here's that roto clip again. Here's that snap link swivel, a bead, arrow pulley, figure of eight, and the other end, another bead, terminal link. As of course you can change these easy and a much sh shorter snood, maybe only a foot and a half, right? So the purpose of this, right? This is what I mean. If you hold that, end, like, hold it, in, it's nothing sharp there. So these are easy. Much see how hard it was for me to put the other one on the on the up and over, but this one's much easier. Look, you do get a longer kind of thing there, which makes casting a little bit harder. You get a longer result. Well, I'm going to put that in there, like that, number four should fit, here he is, number four is in there, right, so it would be a bit tighter, there we go, and he'll find his own kind of nice balance, it is like that, right, so, once it's casted out, if there's such a word as casted out, once you've cast it out, bang, it's, it's the water. Now, the thing is, now you keep holding that in. Okay. Right, so, uh, the weight is here. So the weight is here. And then, obviously, you will pull back on the rod. You'll pull back, pull back, pull back. Now, I think, say, for example, the leg was stuck here. Right, don't pull back. Anymore. Say the leg was your, your whatever leg, leg is stuck right there. Right, you've got this end now dangling there. You've got... If it was at a little less of an angle, it'll probably be like that. I reckon it'll sit. Yeah, just it'll, your line is pulling taut there, and it's sitting in there like that. So that's there like that, dug into the uh, the ground, mm -hmm. and this end is sort of floating around. If you was a, you know, everyone wants to wind in a bit tighter. If you wound in tighter, if this one did not give way, right, you pull your arm back, pull your arm back. So pull the arm back all the way until it hits. So you end up like this then, okay? So that would be kind of level. Kind of not really what you want because you might tangle on your own on your own weight, right? But so I think probably for these with these pulley rigs, you don't really pull them. Try not to wind on too tight. Let it kind of almost you know, if it dig if it digs in there, just leave it. So that's why I'm thinking how to use these. Obviously, the good thing about these, I mean, you might end up like that with the mm -hmm. weight here. And this thing dangling and it might catch on there but you know so there's good and bad about all these rigs but i think for this pulley rig just to leave it when you wind it on just let, as soon as you feel it digging in just leave it and this will float around so the good thing about it obviously everybody knows when a fish takes it it lifts the the weight off the yeah off the yeah. snags and off the bottom everybody knows that when a, when a fish runs it so so these are both our uh, kind of Big fish rigs, yeah. That's the plan. The big fish rigs are these two. You know, I've got my our, our usual scratching rigs. Yeah, you know, what do you call them? Flapper rigs and all that. But these are the two big ones we're going to use. And I'm going to go for smaller hooks this year. Probably like size ones at the biggest and single. I'm going to go. I'm not going to go with the the, the two the two hook uh, panel rigs. Go with the singles. Even like ones like that, mm -hmm. and even ones like this. I think you guys got. I just got a feeling I'm going to do better with smaller baits. I thought we missed a lot of fish last year with a yeah. big base, the fish couldn't gobble it up. We just, you know, with a small base you can get big fish and you get small fish. We went with two big baits when we went for the cod, I think, as a mistake. So, oh yeah, the baiting needle. There's that one. So, I just want to show you. And obviously, look, I got it, thanks. With the, with the, with the other one I've got, with the old bait needle, look. It didn't even have it sharpened. That was not sharp. It came from one of the shops. That wasn't even... I sharpened that end. And one of the things I found, Elsie, look. When I, when I went to put the worm on, dug it in. Oh, it can take a, it can take a large hook, but when I went and pushed the worm on, it kind of, half the time, it fell out, didn't it? And it was annoying because half the worm was here and half the worm was yeah. on there. So this one, with a much bigger hole, just, just, just oh, that little, yeah. yeah, just that little yeah. fact. Look at that. It's going to be a lot, lot more secure. Just that, that's still going to improve my fishing. 
obviously he's a ability to catch, my ability to catch a lot. So that's going, that's new carbon uh, bait needles going straight in. Oh, that was only two pounds. I, you know, I didn't really realise how useful they were until I started using them properly, right? Because I couldn't get hang of it. And one last thing, one last improvement. Thank yeah. you. Just mind me. So here's a LC's new <coughs> rod, the uh, fourteen foot rod. Yeah. Well, I think it's four point two meters. Uh, it's the five hundred four point five hundred four twenty uh, rod. Uh, um, Symbios. Symbios. Yep. Symbios. Yep. Symbios. So with this one. I've already tied the, everybody knows what these are, I think, for the lights, rod light. I've whipped it up with 30 pound braid, right, so I didn't even bother with whipping line, LC, not even bother with whipping line, I went straight for it with the braid we had, the 30 pound Berkeley's braid. So that's on really nicely, and also, obviously, I've, um, I've, uh, I've varnished it, but then I put a layer of, um, what do you call it, the, uh, Oh, what do you call that rubber stuff? Uh, heat melt, not heat melt. Glue gun, glue gun stick. Yep, glue gun stick. I just got some glue gun stick. Used a uh, used a uh, lighter, melted it, and then melted some more on top. The reason why I'm doing that, obviously, I didn't say that for nothing. The reason why I'm doing that is because these we found to catch fish. These things here, we'll just turn around. We'll just turn around and look at so talk to, and you know, we'll go like that. And that is a fish you would never know. Every time you turn around, it went off, kind of thing. You would never know. It was true. He would be looking at it for like yeah. hours. Nothing happened. You look away. It used to go. You know, the thing would go off, and there'll be a fish there. And how many fishes do we miss before we start using these? Lot? If you you can get these ones, these ones you lock onto the yeah. the rod. They were okay. Yeah. Yeah. They were all right. These were better for the night time because they won't fall off, right? Uh, but then they were a bit of a hassle when they spun round. You know, you might the line might catch there, and you taking them off is difficult. So these ones were definitely much better in a way, but they're only better if they gripped onto it. That's why I put this glue gun glue stick. Gun. Yeah, that's why. I so I could either go like that, yeah. clip it on, make sure, obviously, make sure the line doesn't catch these uh, little um, crocodile clip ends there. Yeah. Make sure they don't catch there, so that will be perfectly fine. Or Obviously, for maximum effect, or maximum long, long effect. There, with a. Now you you spin it around now. No, it was rotate it around. Wow. Look, it's staying there. Whereas before, it didn't have anything to grip on, yeah. But now with this, with the um, glue gun melt on it. Look at that. It's not even coming off. So uh, else we are. Uh, I could just if Elsie's got a fish. I was, she was just dip it. I was just got that uh, gone. Yeah. One more yeah. thing, uh, you need to casting out after put the long long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't no, we it. can't cast out or you lose it, try. <laughs> so these it's things here, you, you think they're shiny, but you, you can lose them so easy in the in the in the in fact that just gave me an idea. I should paint this ah. like red, you know, like float you know for floats you paint like fluorescent yeah, paint. Yeah, so I should can. paint yeah, so we Why? can see them. Because they, soon they fall on the floor, you just oh, don't, yeah, you just yeah. can't see them now. Especially for um, shingle beach. Yeah, the shingles, they just the camouflage, they disappear. So maybe if I turn them red, uh, yeah, I'll be able to see them. So it just clips on, just helps. That's it, really. Yeah. That's our video. Um, we're just well, trying then. to get, yeah, that's, we're Thank just you. trying to get prepared and yeah. uh, to maximise our chance of catching fish. And we're really looking forward to it. I'm sure everyone else is as well. Yeah. So if you are, maybe just hit that like button. Yeah. yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Get order your old notification. Notification. Bell. Like one last thing. They Share. tried and tackle. They sent me an email. They said um, for every beginning of the month, they're going to spend seven days repairing their machines or getting in new stock and just giving them a chance to catch up to give so they give you, deliver you the best quality equipment that they can and this stuff the plastic on it is not is not cheap flaky plastic it is really solid i promise you it feels i in fact i don't think that's plastic it feels like polycarbonate that's a that is the stuff you use you to make uh, little uh, you know like racing cars and things like that 
your model racing cars. Poly, this is a carbonate, polycarbonate body. Everything is polycarbonate. I, I'm pretty sure. Feels like polycarbonate. Very, very tough, tough plastic. Anyway, that's the video. I think this stuff is great because it's yeah. cheap. You get loads of it. I don't, I'm not sure the price will last that long for a while. You know, they'll twig on to actually, they can. Because when they, I saw an advert, it was like, Two pounds fifty for one. They showed like a picture. Two, they don't know how to advertise. They put that up on the on their website. Two pound fifty. I looked at. I thought two pound fifty. I'm not it's paying two pound fifty one. I'll lose that in like one minute. But it wasn't. It was like two pounds fifty for twelve. And I thought, no, nah, wow. I thought, you buy you buy yeah. that. Definitely use it. Anyway, but I would buy them as soon as you can. Remember, you've got seven days for the beginning of the month where they don't do any kind of. Uh, trading you got seven days of delivery so if you order at the beginning of the month it will take 14 days if you order on the seventh day of the month it will take seven days to arrive and they they are like a small business and they do make them by hand i think they use machines so they do take a while to arrive but gold dust worth the weight in gold definitely definitely proven to catch gigantic cod in the fjords of norway apparently right <laughs> yeah it's true right anyway thanks Thank for watching, watching. Bye.